A while back, somebody asked me about code babes, and I, I have been aware roughly of what they are, what they were, um, but I never, I never want to talk about it because I don't like necessarily giving attention to something I don't agree with. So I usually will avoid the topic. And if you're not familiar with it, the reason I'm doing it now is. They haven't posted in eight months, and I came. I actually watched the first 30 seconds of a Code Babes video accidentally today, and I couldn't believe how outlandish it was. The first 30 seconds started off with the girl uh, undressing. No, no bullshit undressing, and you you can tell. And by the way, I, I wanna I wanna set this start this off before because any anytime you talk about. I feel like you talk about women and their sexuality. You have to you have to choose your words very carefully, and I'm going to do my best for that. But I don't I don't like stuff like this. I have no problem with. There's channels like Lena the Plug. Lena the Plug talks about her her sexual escapades, and that's the point of her channel. I got no problem with that. She said she's going to put a sex tape out at a million subscribers. Got no more no problem with that. More power to you. Use your sexuality. What I have a problem with is is using sexuality and to perpetuate a lie that you're going to learn and to be very blatant about it. So uh, Code Babes, if you're not familiar, is essentially, imagine that you were watching the episode of Billy, I think it's Billy Madison, and you're in the that tent where his teacher is undressing for every, every correct answer he gets about that. Now apply that to software and you basically have Code, like if, if you ever thought, hey, I wonder what softcore porn would be while learning how to code, you would probably get something like Code Babes. And it's, I mean, you can just tell by the thumbnails, right? Like it was, <laughs> and you know what's the crazy part? Is I can't even get through to find out if any of them are actually developers or not, or if it, their tutorials are good. But I wanted to do a video about this because recently, uh, oh, this was the video I clicked on. So let me, I'm actually going to mute this. And and you can just see the intro of this video. And by the way, before we move e any further, any further, they're quite literally objectifying women. This is an object. And that is a woman in there. They are literally saying women are objects. Let's proceed. And we'll, we'll just watch the first 30 seconds. And I'm like, what the hell is going on here? Because I, I, I just clicked it. This is this is web development now. This is it, boys. This is the game. What if every what if every video I started, I just started taking off my fucking pants? What about that? What if now as a coding channel, you know what? Long dick style. That's how we teach code now. And this may get a little crude. I apologize, but we're talking about a very crude subject. But this is it. This is it. Let's just start Let's just start reinforcing every negative stereotype not only about women but about men as well and it goes down to their philosophy and oh oh we go fast each lesson is a quickie pause it when you go too fast or you know you want to fap because we're uncontrollable fapping monkeys apparently oh my goodness so Cody babes has have hasn't uploaded in eight months and Back to the reason I wanted to talk about this, other than to obviously just show my distaste for this type of blatant, just blatant abuse of 14-year-old boys who watch it. Because I can't, I can't imagine anybody who's watching this video right now would say, you know what? And I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But I can't imagine that anybody who's watching this video says, you know what? Those Angular 4 tutorials that they taught were really great. That was shit was fine or they said you know what i just want to look at some 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 provocatively dressed women with their breast out partially out They're, with cleavage i want to look at their cleavage okay i can respect that i can't understand when trying to learn web development right um so a clear money grab but anyhow so they haven't uploaded in eight months so i'm okay talking about this but one of the comments i got back recently today was about uh, from someone who said, you, I did a video about Chris Hawks leaving YouTube, and he had posted a video about basically clickbait and his his thing about software and being kind of burnt out with the fact that things like this exist. He never said code babes, but this is the type of shit he's talking about where this is a channel. They have, they have significantly more... This video alone? This video alone, where is it? Where is it? 
There's a video with like 900. This video alone has almost as many views as my channel. It's got like 75% views in my channel. Why? Because she's cute? All right, fine, whatever. But this is the type of shit. She got, they got more than twice my subscribers. They're nearly as many as, as Chris Hawks. Probably more views than both of us combined. Um, they probably gave up on this about eight months ago after sticking with it about two years because they realized that they're not probably making as much money as they thought they were going to on YouTube and selling their courses and stuff like that. Or, I, I, I don't know. That, that, that would be my guess as to why they stopped uploading. I don't really know. I, I haven't done any research. I don't really care. I'm just glad that, they, that, that this sort of content is no longer getting pushed out. So, when, when Chris Hawk says things like, you know, clickbait and the type of content that gets followers, and they, mind you, this isn't the only channel I dislike. I typically, this is the only channel worth mentioning that has no business being in this space. And I truly mean that. I truly mean, <coughs> that means, oh, no, are you saying women can't post content? Of course not. Some of the best developers I've ever met have been women. But something like this perpetuates this very male-dominated developer environment. It doesn't help. It doesn't help. I'm not saying it necessarily hurts, but I can guarantee say it, it doesn't help. And then, you know, what what is what is the what are chicks like I can't imagine chicks are too okay with this. Like by the way, okay, so this is my coworker right here? This is it? This how this how this is how the women in my office dress? No, no, come on man. So shit like this I can totally relate to why somebody like Chris Hawks who has been putting his time into the YouTube and his effort and his energy and he sees a channel like this, or I see a channel like this, I say, what? Like, like we're not, we're not talking about, like, another, like, maybe you're a fitness model. Maybe you're a stripper. Maybe you're a vlogger. We're talking about software fucking development. And we can't keep shit like this out of the, the YouTube space. I understand the frustration. I'm glad that they're not uploading anymore. I hope all their videos are demonetized. I really do. I hope that the, the that this sort of blatant sort of, sort of disrespect to men and women that men are just and you know what? Shame on you. If you're one of the 56,000 that are subscribed, shame on you. Shame on you for for supporting this. Unless you're like 16 and, and younger. I give you a pass if you're 16 or younger. I don't blame you. And they're and mind you, I think they're all cute. So don't think I'm saying that, oh, they're not cute. They're all very attractive girls. Which, but that's the whole fucking point. They're not going to put somebody up there that's not attractive. That's the only reason people watch these things. Anyhow, softcore porn and coding, if you didn't know what it looked like, it looks like this. It looks like coding babes. Um, and the it's a strange concept. It's like they were sitting around having a beer and smoking a blunt and saying... Oh, you know what would be cool? You know what? I bet all the dudes would watch us if we just, you know, we we wore our Halloween costumes, our, our, our scantily clad Halloween costumes, and then we pretended like we knew web development. We probably know a little. We would Google search that shit in a weekend, you know. Probably have our, our boyfriends or our sisters who won't do this, who are developers, tell us what to say. Come on, man. Uh, this shit drives me nuts. Absolutely nuts. I, <laughs> but I, I don't ever want to be completely negative because it's not their fault. They're taking advantage of a weakness in, in human society. So much as I've discussed, I'm not a fan of Ty Lopez for various reasons. I will leave them with a compliment that I think all scammy sort of nasty people have as a marketable skill. It's a good marketing ploy. They are very good at marketing, and I will leave it with that. I I am so glad shit like this is, is not... I, you know what? If tomorrow a Coding Babes video pops up, it's really going to be a strike to my soul because shit like this, until I pass them, I'm having a chip on my shoulder. I'm not going to feel like a real YouTuber until subscriber count gets me to fucking 56,100. One more. That's all I need till I feel better. Oh, this, this is so sad that this is a thing, that this is the state of the world we live in. I'm going to get off my soapbox now, man, but shit like this pisses me off. If you want a free course, not taught by Coding Babes, in React, thank you to our developer of choice, Steven Grider, who has donated these so that we can give them away. Uh, and we are 
if you're interested in his other courses, there will be a link in the description and the comments below. All you got to use is the keyword of the day. Could you guess what it is? Code babes. And, uh, and uh, like the video and you'll be eligible. So as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share. And if you'd like to support me on Patreon, which, by the way, even though they don't upload anymore, they still make more Patreon money than me. I wonder why. Because we're suckers. It's a bunch of suckers out there. But uh, thank you for watching the video, guys. I'll see you next time. Hey, guys, thanks for watching the video. Special thanks to our sponsors, Dev Mountain. If you're looking for a coding boot camp where tuition and housing is included, definitely check them out. Appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.